Whoa, I am not awake. I look it, but I'm not. Let's fly drones. The original plan was to wake up nice and early and to have a drone flight while it was all sort of frozen and beautiful and that didn't happen. Nope. But I've made it outside nonetheless. Landing pad. Hmm. Launch pad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's actually like totally frozen. Those are like good gloves. I need those gloves. They're not too bad. Although it would have been much better if I'd managed to wake up a bit earlier. Okay, we're going for a dog walk now. It's all go. Somebody forgot to de-ice their car. Yeah, what's that all about? I'm going to get in this car. Do you want to come in this car? Will I fit? Um, no. <laughs> it does look a bit tight. It is quite clean, your car. How, how have you managed to do that? It's a week old. <laughs> oh, it's that new. Yeah. I had no idea. Very nice. Well, it's I like the materials in here, definitely. Oh look, it's a little dog hatch! Yeah! Hey there. <laughs> oh god, oh yeah, that's all okay. No! No place. It's not snow, it's frost, Jasper. I've just been asked if I have a content plan for my vlogs. No. I want to have one. Somehow I never seem to find the time. Also, I've just been told that I must get on Instagram. So... I don't know if I'm going to be on Instagram by the time this video goes up, but if I am, follow me on Instagram. I think I'd be better at social media, really, wouldn't I? I'm sorry. No, I don't want them. No, no, I'm on to take them on dessert. I've been so bad with social media, just generally, <laughs> with the exception of YouTube. Yeah, I, I... This is our recycling cupboard. Yeah, it might be time that I take that out, I think. over a month's worth, so, but yeah, I like to stock it up and then take it all out in one big go, much easier. If anyone's wondering why I missed a day, not yesterday, but the day before, that's because, you remember in that video where I was saying, oh, you know, hold back on the wine. Yeah, we're not drinking alcohol during the filming, thank you very much. I might have had a little bit too much to drink, and the next day I might have been a little bit hungover. So I was planning on talking about just some sort of general Tesla news for the most part today. I did forget, though, from yesterday's blog post about one very important camera, my drone. I love it, it's fantastic. In this country, it's quite tricky to really incorporate drone footage into vlogs because you can't kind of use a drone casually. It's either a full-on photo shoot or you can't really do it from a commercial point of view. But there we go, just sort of limits the creativity somewhat. The first thing I was gonna mention that's sort of Tesla related, it's a little bit of a sort of, I told you so sort of kind of thing. I've long maintained that autopilot is going to be safer than just a car without autopilot. And apparently the statistics bear that out. You're sort of 40% more likely to not have a crash. I think that's how they put it. Yeah, the Tesla vehicle crash rate dropped 40%. That is the quote from Elon Musk's Twitter account, and he got that information from the report that the National Transport Highway Safety Agency in America came up with when they were investigating that fatal autopilot crash. The reason why autopilot gets a bit of a bad rap sometimes, however, it's gonna lead to crashes where a human driver wouldn't have a crash, 
and the crashes that it fixes are the ones where a human driver might have a lapse in attention span or whatever. So it's a kind of, you know, it gives with one hand, it takes with the other kind of thing. Which is why hopefully with the hardware 2 and the improved everything that goes with autopilot 2.0, we should be looking at a significant improvement, something up to around 90% less likely to have a crash. I mean, that's awesome. And hopefully that would feed through into insurance premiums as well over time. The other thing is another, it, it, this is another one of my little predictions. So this isn't actually really so much Tesla news. It is driven by a announcement a little while ago that various car manufacturers were thinking about. It's an, e, an inside EV news story. I'll link in the description. And it was basically just saying that various car makers were sort of weighing up whether they should be investing in their own battery factory or just buying batteries from suppliers and I've long maintained that one of the key advantages that Tesla have is because they in control their own battery supply chain they have an ability to ensure that that supply ramps with demand whereas for the other car manufacturers if they start selling cars at a rate of a hundred thousand models a year for four or five different examples of an electric vehicle across a single manufacturer and there's four or five manufacturers that do that then what you're talking about is two and a half million battery powered cars which will all have as an absolute minimum a 40 kilowatt hour battery like the Renault Zoe. You're going to need a huge amount of battery supply and at the moment the supply chain is just not geared for that so if the demand does ramp very quickly and very suddenly it's going to take a huge shift in the investment priorities of a number of different businesses and organizations to keep up. Tesla, on the other hand, they can just supply. They've got their factory, they're building it, they control it, they know what it can do and what it can't do. And they can try and match that demand to the supply of batteries and vice versa. In that respect, I think they are massively ahead of other EV manufacturers that think that basically you can just buy a battery and stick it with a motor and an inverter and off you go, that's a nice electric vehicle. Most of the time, they're actually right about the product. It's how many of them they can produce that I don't believe. GM reckons it can produce 50,000 volts in the first year. They think they'll actually sell 35,000. Those were the original numbers they came up with a while ago. I think they could sell significantly more than that, especially if they did them in other countries. Like for example, why do you think they're putting no effort into creating a right-hand drive version? It's not because it wouldn't sell very well in the UK. It would. It's because they probably already don't have enough batteries for the cars that they're already making. My social media use has been appalling, with the notable exception of YouTube, which is the only real social media network I ever pay any attention to. I'm trying to fix that. So I'm going to try and start using Instagram and sticking a photo up on there every day or two. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it'll be instagram.com forward slash James Cook vlog. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you haven't, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Also, I will try and do a bit more Twitter. Twitter I've always found a little bit more, maybe I'm just not very good at typing into my phone. What I could do is I could answer comments and do Twitter and stuff like that whilst walking on the running machine. If I did that for an hour a day, it'd go a long way to bringing my fitness level up to where it needs to get to by the 12th of March.